Hello guys, how's it going? I hope you had a fantastic time with Halloween, and yes, I do get that it is a video and not a live stream. I do know that. But I figured I want to go ahead and uh, just throw out a little opinion piece, but however, this opinion piece um, will end up becoming like a commentary video because it's not much to be for a video. As a matter of fact, this is going to be like one of those really quick videos depends but however either way I think the commentary format is a good idea and another thing I'm going to say what I am about to say may be an unpopular opinion and it may sound crazy and it may even be big however you guys think but uh, things are is right now the way there is Everything is not going so well in the world, and I mean, 2018 is just as bad as a year as 2016 and 2017, so. Now, the thing I want to go ahead and talk about is college, and really, this is where college becomes quite a cautionary tale. Hopefully that makes sense of me to say that. And the reason why I do want to say that is college. It is essentially above high school. It is higher tier education. When you go through college, you get this wonderful thing called a degree and you get higher paying jobs and it is fantastic. That is why college is important. That is why it is a big thing. However... We know knowledge in education can be the same thing, but also at the same time can be two different things. It sounds crazy, but here's the situation here. Without education, we need to figure out another way to gain knowledge. And we are stuck teaching ourselves, basically. However... If we are talking about college, it is a huge cautionary tale, and mark my words, it is a very huge cautionary tale. Because I figured I want to talk about this right now because of the current state we're in, and because of the current state we're in, we're going to see less and less people become college students from left and right. And it's not going to be like the good old glory days where people from left and right are becoming college students thanks to things like uh, financial aid and also community college. However, there are two questions that I do want to get off my chest. They're going to be familiar with each other, and these questions will be elaborated with more questions. I do warn you up ahead. So these two questions are going to be familiar with each other. Okay, now, question number one, can you go to college? And what I mean by that is, do you have your own means of transportation other than a chauffeur or a city bus? Because it is highly recommended that you have your own car to drive yourself. And also, do you own a house rather than rent a house of your own? Yeah, and you have to pay off your mortgage. You have to pay off your entire mortgage. Alright? But that's another thing to keep in mind. And also, do you have an ongoing income that runs past $1,600 a month? Hell, highly recommended past $2,000. Because basically, you're going to have to be paying your bills. And the amount of money you have left over is that you got to be spending on food and whatnot. And it's not going to help that you're going to have to pay rent on top of paying for your classes. Unless you go to financial aid. Which, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Depends on what they're planning on doing. Because I've heard a bunch of rumors, but however, they may not be true. Now, the second question here. Are you able to attend college? And what I mean by that question, are the roads mostly peaceful? Do you have a reliable computer for both work and play? And do you have a reliable internet for work and play? 
you have to make sure there's no you have to make sure the roads don't get too busy all the time and another thing you have to know is that you have to have a powerful computer that is good for not only work but also for gaming so and I'm gonna say this you can't just get a computer that can only do Microsoft Office in and in internet browsing and the very minute you're done with your homework go to your consoles and play something it's not going to work out. It's going to backfire in your face in the future. Because PC gaming is becoming more mandatory from left and right. And your friends are going to go come out with uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX loaded desktops. And pretty much not everybody is going to play Fortnite. And not all games have cross-platform play between PS4 and Xbox. And another thing you have to consider around here is that you need to have a reliable internet... Though it may cost more, but you can't go for affordable ISPs. Because, trust me, I have been with CenturyLink, and they have offered lackluster speeds. And unfortunately, we had to pay more for Cox, because CenturyLink wasn't offering this much. It was so bad, it took me like five damn hours to upload a single video. And when you're downloading a game, it's more of a fucking nightmare. And considering how everything's going digital distribution and how digital distribution's being shoved down our goddamn throats, hell, even worse, we may even... There's, there's been talks, there's been rumors of people uh, shoving cloud gaming down to people's throats. So... With that said, you're gonna need a super reliable computer like... Like a GTX powered thing. I don't know why I went to computer. I was talking about internet. My goodness. What is wrong with me? <laughs> but no. But you do need a good GTX powered computer. But however when it comes to ISPs. I suggest you go for Google Fiber. Pay for something that's like beyond what CenturyLink offers. Which is essentially and basically I'm going to say this. Enhanced dial-up. Trust me, you don't want to go there, and it's not, it's, CenturyLink is a service that is heavily detrimental to gamers. Now, I have been hearing that CenturyLink has been offering fiber connections that offer more speeds than usual, and if that is to be the case, then that's one way CenturyLink can save their own asses. If people can provide up to, like, one gigabyte downloading a second, and it if people can play games and download at gigabyte speeds with CenturyLink, that's one thing that can save CenturyLink's ass. So yeah. So here's the situation here, and I'm going to say this. You have to make sure you have your own means of transportation. You have to make sure you own your house and paid off your mortgage. And you have to have an income that runs past $1,600. And another thing you have to understand here is that are the roads to your local college... Uh, busy less and do you have a GTX 1070 or GTX 2070 powered desktop because uh, yeah and another thing you have to consider you have to have internet speeds that offer faster faster speeds so yeah I'm gonna say this straight so those are the two questions you need to think hard and heavy about before you get into college. Now, the reason why I asked all these questions here is that once you go further in your college education, you cannot go back until you found a grand plan to pay off your debt. So if your college life backfires in your face, yeah, it won't be pretty. And here's another thing I have to consider, and the reason when I talk about this, be careful when attending community college. There has been rumors that I have been hearing in my area that people are cutting off funding to community colleges. However, this could be a very old rumor. But however, it is possible in considering um, where I live and pretty much where I live having little to offer in terms of specialty stores and other fun things besides stores and restaurants. Okay, so, yeah. 
So with that said, people are going to be pulling whatever tactic, people are going to be pulling whatever tricks up their sleeve to pretty much make sure that the community college was good fun while it lasted. So that's that's one thing to know. And your paths to a degree are going to be blocked by a rubble or rigged with pitfalls because I have heard horror stories about people having their college career backfired in their face over this one thing. And it's like scary as hell. Now, as for the degrees, people have, well, let's just say cared less about degrees unless you are a doctor or studying to be law enforcement or whatever profession that requires a degree. But however, if we're talking about other than being a doctor or being a cop, all right, I'm just going to go ahead and say this. Degrees will end up being rendered as magical pieces of paper because people have found ways of bypassing them and people have found early careers without even needing a degree. So yeah, that is crazy. And another thing you have to consider is that when you're in college, you got your homework and all the stuff. So by the time you're done with your studying and exams and your homework, you're going to be subject to free time. Minus your job, of course. Now, another thing you have to consider is you're going to have more and more free time when you enter summer and winter vacation. And going to summer school is not a good idea. Not a very good idea because you need the time to basically do what you need to be doing to get yourself caught up in your life outside of campus. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's another thing. And here's another thing that you have to understand. Life will happen and will not empathize or compromise. It does not give a shit if you are a student and you cannot afford this. So, as a natural consequence, you are to expect to miss a few assignments or even fail a class if you're stuck being to. So, when your college career goes to shit due to unforeseen shenanigans, you can't afford it right now, because right now the environment is being adjusted to weed out certain people. Either it's adjusting itself, or someone's adjusting it. I don't know. And another thing you have to understand is that the entertainment industry is taking damage because of failure, predatory practices, and random censorship. So basically, you have to work to have money left over for you to be stocking up on games and stuff for your library, so that way you have multiple platforms and plenty to play. So that is a wonderful idea. And of course, we're going to hit a future where it's going to be hard as hell doing one thing in your daily life without offending anyone. It's just that this future is going to be around the corner, and it's so goddamn annoying you could do this one thing, and if it offends someone, oh, all hell breaks loose. Now, I'm not making this video to basically make you fear, go crazy, go anxious. I'm not expecting you to drop out of college. I'm not expecting you to, to think twice when you go to college. I'm not, I'm not expecting to scare people off of college. It's just that uh, you got to be heavily cautious when it comes to beginning your college career. Or when it comes to having a college career in the first place. Because I know for a fact everything leading up to high school is mandatory. But however, as for college, it is higher education. It is important. But however, it is kind of a weird thing for me to say. Knowledge is way more important than college. I know that college and education need each other, but yeah, and it, it is the way it is, and look at the timeline that we're living in right now, so it is crazy, so there are other ways for you to get your knowledge, and there are ways for you to come prepared, because you're going to have to basically deal with your life outside of campus on top of doing your homework, studying for your exams, and basically doing your exams, and worrying about your exams, and doing your speech assignments, and all and whatnot, okay? What I am trying to say, and what I am why I'm making this video, is so that way... People 
can be very heavily, heavily cautious when it comes to going to college or even starting in college. Because right now, we're not in a very pleasant timeline. It is a very ugly as hell timeline. It is not pretty. All right, that is all, and I will be looking forward to you in the next video. Peace out, and uh, yeah, stay safe. Yo, don't miss out on future shenanigans while at the same time no up ahead anything video related. I will be appearing on these other sites. Be sure to follow. Also, support the channel over at Patreon for just $1 a month. Come on down to the description box and you will find the links.